It's a tenant's worst nightmare, getting evicted and having to look for a new place to call home in Toronto's hot rental market. It's a reality for hundreds, according to advocates who say some landlords are using a loophole, terminating a tenancy based on them or family members moving in. What's happening now is a lot of tenants are just being pushed out on this premise that someone's moving in. Someone's not moving in. The landlord's lying. And then tenants are getting evicted. They're having to pay way more rent. And that's happening more often, according to the head of the Federation of Metro Tenants Associations, who says he sees some landlords taking advantage of the competitive rental market, pushing tenants out just to cash in. Oftentimes, landlords now, um, because of the way rent control is structured, it doesn't exist in between tenants. So if you can kick somebody out, you can jack the rent up a million dollars to whatever you want. Think about it. You're losing your home. It's a big deal. But also, uh, if they're at the lower end of the rental market, there's nowhere they can move. That's because Toronto isn't building as many low-income units to keep up with tenant evictions. That's according to Councillor Gord Perks, who sits on housing and tenant committees and whose ward, Parkdale, is seeing vast changes with residents claiming they are being pushed out by landlords. You think we're scared? We're going anywhere. They'll use any trick in the book to get rid of someone's home so that they can make a bigger profit. The Federation of Rental Housing Providers of Ontario says some condo investment owners are at risk of losing money when maintenance fees increases are higher than the province's 1.8% rental cap. Last year, the provincial government introduced new measures to protect tenants and discourage unlawful evictions. Among them, if the tenancy is terminated in bad faith, the landlord could face a fine of up to $25,000. But advocates say there's no enforcement. If you lie to the court uh, and you evict a tenant, the onus is on the tenant to prove that you've lied. Um, so if you're just cashing in thousands of dollars, again, there's not going to be anything that the, uh, the court's going to do about that. But building a case takes time and money for tenants, a tedious task. That's why some are pushing for Ontario to implement measures like rent control that would put a cap on rent increases between tenants and deter anyone looking to use this loophole. The Federation of Metro Tenants Associations also wants to see stricter penalties for anyone breaking the law. If a landlord's caught doing this, it ought to be an automatic fine. They have to pay through the nose. Any extra rent they've got, they should be levy against them. And the good news is there are resources available for tenants to use, like the Federation of Metro Tenants Association. There's also free legal advice available at the Landlord and Tenant Board. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.